Today, let's take a look at the HPE Electra Storage MP B10000, the industry's first disaggregated scale-out block storage solution, and how our unique purpose-built architecture can deliver 100% data availability to your mission-critical applications, future-proof your storage infrastructure, and improve the overall TCO of your storage investment. Hi, I'm Lauren Bay, and I'm a technical marketing engineer at HPE. The B10000 is built on our common storage hardware platform, the HPE Electra Storage MP. So let's start there. The MP is a 2U chassis with two controller nodes or IOM slots in the back and 24 NVMe SSD slots in the front. It's the hardware that forms the foundation of HPE's disaggregated scale-out storage portfolio with the ability to run block, file, and object software personas. And HPE's cloud-native software design means a simplified and unified management experience for all storage protocols driven by AI ops. Let's take a deeper look at our block storage architecture with the B10000. With the B10000, we have two main types of configurations, switchless and switched. With a switchless or a standalone box, we have two controller nodes in the back and up to 24 NVMe SSDs in the front of that same chassis. From here, we can attach up to two additional JBOFs, but we quickly hit an upper limit on how much we can scale from both a performance and a capacity perspective. That's where the switched B10000 config comes in. With the switch config, we have chassis dedicated for controller nodes and chassis dedicated as JBOFs. These are connected via redundant 100 gig Rocky V2 network switches. This grants us highly performant and scalable backend connectivity, and more importantly, ensures nodes can see all drives. In traditional architectures, HA node pairs are tightly coupled. They have mirrored write cache, and a given node pair is directly tied to certain drive cages. This is not the case with the B10000. Because all nodes can see all drives and the path to those drives is extremely efficient, nodes can write through directly to the backend. This simplifies the overall data path and removes the need for node pairs with cache mirroring and also removes the needs for things like batteries required to flush dirty cache in the event of a total power failure. This architecture, especially in the context of a switch config, allows us to do some really neat things like scale performance and capacity independently, and we can even scale in single controller increments to maximize efficiency and cost savings. If you just need more capacity, you can add drives to existing cages in increments as small as two drives at a time, or you can add an entire cage. Nothing changes from the controller node side of things. So how about scaling performance? Here, I have a two node switched V10,000. Might be starting to get a little saturated from the performance standpoint, but I'm good on capacity. I can scale performance power by adding a new chassis and just installing a single node into that chassis and connecting it to that switched fabric. And what we're gonna have here is actually a three node configuration. If in the future, if the workload requires it and we need to scale up, very simply, I can go in and add a fourth node later. Because we're working off this common MP chassis, it's incredibly easy to perform fully online, non-disruptive data in place upgrades. This helps you avoid the lengthy data migrations and costly media rebuys that come with legacy forklift upgrades. If you need to upgrade, for example, from a 16 core controller node to more powerful 32 core controller nodes, we simply remove one controller node at a time and replace it with the new upgraded controller. There's no downtime required. HPE's Timeless program allows you to future-proof your storage investment as part of your SaaS subscription. With the Timeless program, you can modernize your storage a few years down the road with a free non-disruptive controller upgrade. The B10000 is reimagining primary storage with its industry-leading architecture, breaking through legacy storage limitations and maximizing infrastructure efficiency and cost savings at scale, allowing you to buy for today and scale your storage in line with your evolving business needs.